Good morning, friends. My name is Lorraine, and I welcome you today to our morning prayer. Let us discover what God has to say to each one of us as we reflect in His scriptures. And so we begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for the grace of a new day. Help us to recognize the unique gifts that you have given to each one of us. Give us a generous heart so that we may share what we have with those around us. Amen. Our Gospel reading from today is taken from the book of Matthew. As they were going away, some people brought to Jesus a man who was dumb because he was possessed by a demon. When the demon was driven out, the dumb man began to speak. The crowds were astonished and said, Nothing like this has ever been seen in Israel. But the Pharisees said, He drives away demons with the help of the prince of demons. Jesus went around all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom. And he cured every sickness and disease. When he saw the crowds, he was moved with pity, for they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is abundant, but the workers are only few. Ask the master of the harvest to send workers to gather his harvest. God himself in Jesus had come down to cure humankind. In today's gospel, we see a summary of Jesus' active ministry. Going from town to town, from village to village, Jesus cured the people not just of their physical maladies, but more so of their spiritual ailments. The man in her story was rendered dumb by a demon. Fully incapable of expressing himself, Jesus gave him back his identity. Jesus freed him, allowing him to be who God created him to be. It is sad that, even after all that Jesus had done, he is met with such unkind and totally unjust judgments from the people. But we should all learn from Jesus' reaction. Faced with such rudeness, he responded only with love and compassion. This then should answer for us who God is, personified in Jesus. Jesus is a loving shepherd. Looking at the people, he felt their need. Think about it, my friends. How long were these people following Jesus? A whole day? Maybe a couple? Perhaps even a week? I don't imagine that these people have a full grasp of who Jesus is, as the Messiah, as the Son of God, as the Chosen One. But something in Him has captivated them, something that was never before seen in Israel. He gave them hope. When Jesus looked at the crowds, he knew they were lost. He saw their hunger, their helplessness, their homelessness. And yet Jesus knew that he will not always be physically present with his people. And so that is why he asked his disciples to pray. Pray that God will send compassionate and loving shepherds to his people. Today, my friends, the hunger for God's love remains. And all of us at times have been like lost sheep, looking for someone, in need of someone who will encourage us back into the fold. Now, more than ever, we need to pray. So many of our brothers and sisters are losing their souls, and so many are still not free, enslaved by material possessions, hungering for spiritual nourishment. We need to tap into each other's gifts so that we may lead our brothers and sisters back into the fold. Let us implore God's grace so that He may send men and women who will labor for God's kingdom. As we end this morning reflection, I invite each one of you to take part in praying for vocations. Prayer for vocations and priests. Jesus, High Priest and Redeemer, forever we beg you to call young men and women to your service as priests and religious. 
May they be inspired by the lives of dedicated priests, brothers, and sisters. Give to parents the grace of generosity and trust towards you. And their children so that their sons and daughters may be helped to choose their vocation in life with wisdom and freedom. Lord, you told us that the harvest indeed is great, but the laborers are few. Pray therefore the Lord of the harvest to send laborers into his harvest. We ask that we may know and follow the vocation to which you have called us. We pray particularly for those called to serve as priests, brothers, and sisters, those whom you are calling now, and those you will call in the future. May they be open and responsive to the call of serving your people. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you, my friends, for joining us for this morning reflection. We hope you'll have a great day and hope that you'll be joining us again tomorrow.